What do we have for Taurus? Seven of Wands, Leo energy at the foundation of the reading, Taurus. Taurus, I feel like there's something here that is making you feel overwhelmed. It's like an energy of feeling discouraged. And I feel that this has to do with some sort of fear that is lurking within your subconscious. It's like you're trying to go in a specific direction, but something is holding you back. I feel like you're being called to overcome your innermost fears in order to move forward in your life right now, Taurus, however this may be showing up for you. Now, I think that just about anybody, no matter what zodiac sign you are, can resonate with this in some capacity. This is something that all of us are working at constantly. We're never not needing to work on our innermost fears because if you ever get to the point where you're not working on these sort of things, it's like evolution has halted in your life because to actually grow, you need to overcome fears at all times. Just when you think you're comfortable with something, you're being guided to grow on from said thing, which can cause some fear to creep in. So whatever the case here, Taurus, this seems to be the focal point for all of you at the moment. It could also be some sort of external force that you may need to take action from protecting yourself from. Maybe there's somebody around you that makes you feel discouraged. Maybe there's somebody in your environment that is always projecting negativity onto you so you give up at things. Maybe this individual or individuals is the reason why none of your plans come to fruition. You know, merely by having a negative person in your environment can be the deciding factor whether or not you get success in some areas of your life. And a lot of the time, it's going to be coming from people that are the hardest individuals to release from our life. But make no mistake, that's a test from the universe. What's most important to you? Your divine mission or keeping other people happy at the detriment of your own happiness? Hangman, Pisces energy at the sacral, letting go. Exactly what I just said. This is you now seeing things from this higher vantage point, from this higher perspective. Positioning yourself in an energy and preparing to let go of whatever this is here because you're starting to understand that until you do this particular success that is already here waiting for you, you will not be able to attain. Whatever this energy is here that is creeping around inside your auric field that's kept you in this suspended state, restricted, is really what it comes down to. It's like you haven't been able to fulfill any part of your mission and start heading towards your destiny. It's like you've been held back. I feel now that you're starting to see that any energies who come in the way of you and said manifestation hold some sort of darkness within them that can be perceived as an opposing force. No matter who this may be for you, it really comes down to you or them when you start adding your destiny into the equation here. It's like this energy is trying to victimize themselves now because you're cutting away. You're starting to carve out your own path. As they're doing this, you're starting to see that you've been dealing with traitors, people that have been creating a lot of delays in your life. I just saw the Five of Swords. A lot of tension and well, it's a bullying kind of energy. Too many cards. What do we got? Four of Swords, Two of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like you've been in this energy of back and forth. It's like you're being called to retreat. Ten of Cups. Oh, retreat is right. Yeah, this is a matter of your ultimate happiness or staying in this karmic cycle with these individuals. However, this may be showing up for you. For some of you, this could be a work environment. Pisces energy with this Ten of Cups. So we have Leo, Pisces, Pisces on the table. Ten of Cups is one of my favorite cards in the tarot because it shows the general picture of happiness. It's an energy of complete contentment. It's an energy of alignment. 
And this energy here that we're dealing with, Seven of Wands at the foundation, is the only thing standing in your way from achieving this, Taurus. This energy feels serious. It feels like this is a big decision you need to make. This feels like it's a lot more than, than the everyday kinds of decisions that we face. This feels like, well, it's a crossroads kind of energy. It's like there you are, standing at the crossroads. You can take that path, or you can take this path. There is a decision that needs to be made here. And each path looks completely different from the other. This is a black and white yin and yang kind of energy that I'm picking up here. You know, although every decision we make on our path is crucial, when you really think about how all these little details of each one of our days leads us to the here and now, this decision here feels monumental. And I feel these sort of decisions, I don't know, it's like these ones come around maybe a few times a year. There's lots of little decisions that add up to this one big decision. This Ten of Cups at the Solar Plexus is you taking complete control over your life, Taurus, making a decision based off of your own happiness. What do we have at the heart, please? Six of Cups, Scorpio energy at the heart. Oh, this is an energy of living in the past. There's a lot of talking about doing something here, but not doing it. But this is all because of this individual or individuals. It's a cycle of stagnation and delay. There's an energy here that's trying to make you feel like your expectations for yourself are unrealistic, right? That energy that I was picking up on that's projecting negativity onto you. There's definitely something here that needs to be let go of. I'm picking up blocked heart chakra energy. And it has to do with something in the past. I mean, it always does, but... Five of Swords, there it is. I saw that when I was shuffling around a minute ago. Aquarius energy. Right there at the throat. Somebody trying to disempower you. Negative projections. Your expectations are unrealistic. Oh, you can't do that. You can't pull that off. And you're like, oh, maybe I can't. This is somebody who's going out of their way to hurt you and make you feel less than. But you're being guided here to terminate this connection with whoever this person is, Taurus. Or, for some of you, this is residual energy that you're still carrying around with you. Negative self-talk based off of somebody's negative projections. And again, this is something that uh, all of us have dealt with. And you'll find that it never really goes away. You just get to a point where you can maintain it. These are the types of things that people say to you in those moments where you need all of your confidence and drive to accomplish something. All of a sudden, this phrase somebody said creeps in. It unearths itself from a deep subconscious layer and rears its ugly head. Maybe it causes you to feel like you can't pull something off, which stifles you and affects your outcome. Or, or maybe you just altogether give up. But whatever it is, the recognition of this is pretty much all you need to be able to maintain and deal with this energy when it unearths in those moments. Just recognize it and put it in its place, Taurus. This happens to me all the time, especially when it comes to things that require a lot of brain power, a lot of confidence. Me being uh, the absolute best version of myself, all of a sudden, that thing creeps in. Now there I am, trying to hold up my confidence against some sort of shadow energy that's decided to rear its ugly head without notice. All I can tell you is, Taurus, that as time goes on, you become stronger. You get to a point where you laugh at the source of that energy, wherever it came from. And a lot of it has to do, I think, with there possibly being something unhealed at the source of the energy. Maybe it keeps coming up because there's something you missed. I don't know. It's going to be different for all of you out there. But again, Taurus, to simplify everything I'm saying, as long as you recognize it when it comes up for review, you should be able to put it in its place and compartmentalize it and move forward. And don't be hard on yourself. It's literally a spirit that just wants to hold you back. A lot of these negative projections can be seen as the resistance because of the threatening nature of what it is that you're trying to accomplish. That's always a really good way to overcome that. You start to recognize you're getting attacked because what you're doing is threatening in nature to the very existence of this spirit, this negative projection. What do we have in the third eye, please? 
page of cups, Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy at the third eye. I feel like this is you now recognizing this energy and being able to compartmentalize it. Going back to the source of it and seeing that all it was ever doing was trying to project onto you the way it felt about itself. The devil hates to be alone, Taurus. And that's exactly what you're dealing with here. You're dealing with an energy that gets off on seeing you down rather than lifting you up and seeing you happy. Sadly, all of us are going to deal with this sort of behavior at some point in our life, whether it's a family member, a friend, a co-worker, somebody we're in a romantic relationship with. It's just one of the facts of life. And it's a lesson that we all need to learn in order to become the best versions of ourself. It's like an energy of going through spiritual boot camp. But again, it could be you having that recognition and an understanding of the origins of this energy in your life. Some of you are going to trace it back to your childhood. You'll find yourself analyzing maybe things your parents said to you. How could they say that? What were they thinking? You know, these, these sorts of things. What do we have with the crown, please? Three of Swords, Libra energy at the crown. There is an energy here of healing coming through for you, Taurus. This is coming by way of the divine. You are being guided here to release whatever this is here. Give it back to the universe. I feel that this is the key in being able to bring through said manifestation, whatever this is here. It's like you need to sacrifice the pain that you've been holding on to, to finally let it go in order to receive your blessings. Give your burdens to the universe, Taurus, is what you're being asked to do. They are no longer yours to carry. What do we have at the foundation, please? Two of Swords. There it is. I was talking about you being at a crossroads, and that's exactly what that Two of Swords energy represents, right underneath that Seven of Swords. You can go this way, or you can go that way. You can continue down this path, with these energies or you can break away into this Ten of Cups energy. Two of Swords is all about you needing to make a decision. And there's no compromise to be had here, Taurus. You don't compromise with your own happiness. I feel some of you have been doing that. It's almost like you felt that that was the right thing to do. But you should never have to compromise your happiness to anyone. People who truly care about you won't ask you to do that. And isn't it interesting how many of us think that that's acceptable behavior? But I guess that's always been something that's there, Taurus. Again, just another fact of life. But as long as you're making decisions based off of your own happiness first, you can never go wrong. Five of Wands. Leo energy at the sacral. See, in this person here, they always act like they're sticking their neck out for you, right? trying to shake your hand with three fingers. I mean, you can't trust that. This five of wands, Aguirre's Leo energy at the sacral. This is an energy that's holding you back, creating obstacles and challenges in your life, creating discord and conflict. It's just an overall energy of tension. Hangman, you see right through this energy now. You see that this energy has some sort of ulterior motive. What do we have the solar plexus, please? Ace of Swords, Citri, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy at the solar plexus. And here they come. Oh, no, 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 I wouldn't do that if I was you. You're making the wrong choice there. I just heard mind games. It's like this energy is always playing with your mind or this is residual. It's like a mind war. You having to overcome projections in order to step into your power. Oh, this can most definitely be psychological. Having to overcome psychological abuse from the past to be able to self-empower and truly step into alignment with the person you're supposed to be. That's painful and it's not easy, but it's on this table, Taurus. And it can most definitely be accomplished. I'm looking at it right here. You just need to remember that it really is all in your mind. What do we have with the heart, please? Oh, again, look at that. Back to back. It really is all in your mind is exactly right. Mind wars. I heard it again. This energy is trying to 
block you or make you feel like you're making the wrong decisions. They so badly want to hold you back from succeeding. It's like they can't have this. It's like some sort of truth is... It's like they're forced to face some sort of truth in their life that they're not ready to face. Well, that's not your problem. They'll never be ready to face it. Indiscretion and untruth. And then we have Page of Swords, Ha-A-Ia, Refuge. And now here you are on the other side. You've made the decision, and here they are. You've shut them up, and they're watching you now. See, this individual is on what looks to be a poster, but it's really just representing them having to see you win. God preparing a table for you in front of your enemies. This sort of energy is what I'm getting here. What do we have at the throat, please? Two of swords again. So we have it twice now, but now we have the positive polarity. Libra energy, annual. God, Lord of all virtues, breaking the circle, lifts opposing barriers, brings victory. This is you putting your happiness first and choosing yourself, Taurus. I see the outcome here. It's very clear. This reading should be very clear cut for all of you. You're asking or you're wondering what decision you need to make here. Well, you make the decision that makes you the most happiness and makes the most sense in accordance with the vision that you have for your life. Period. There's no compromising that. What do we have at the third eye, please? Knight of Wands, Aries Leo Sag, energy at the third eye. Ha U Ia, God the good in himself. Protection prevents discovery of secret crimes, saves exiles. So this card is speaking about you removing yourself from the cycle with these individuals and never having to worry about what's taking place behind your back anymore. Never having to worry about any sort of negative projections affecting you moving into the future. And if this is based off of something that took place in your path, this is you now maintaining this energy, facing off with the shadow aspects of it, and arming yourself with discernment moving into the future so you avoid coming in contact with similar energies. You see, when we go through this sort of trauma in our childhood, we then go throughout life attracting people who vibrate at the same frequency as this trauma. So we'll find that the trauma just keeps repeating itself. We keep coming across people that exacerbate this trauma. What do we have with the crown, please, to close this out, Taurus? Queen of Cups, perfect. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy at the crown to close out the reading. Faha Leah, God the Redeemer, redemption, serves against enemies of religion, governs chastity. This is an energy of emotional healing, Taurus. You're starting to understand that you were affected by and you reflected the influences in your surroundings. These are all these things that are invisible, right? Like I was saying, buried on this deep subconscious layer. But you starting to attune. With your higher self, you're able to recognize this energy, face off with it, therefore ascend, and make yourself the receiver of this new energy, these blessings, this manifestation, whatever this is. But you need to let go of this energy. Don't allow yourself to become lost in the energies of others, the projections. It only results in instability and ungroundedness, which leads to you being resentful and energetically dependent on others. So whatever this is, Taurus, all you need to do is make the decision that leads to your greatest happiness. Taurus, this is the energy that's available to you, depending on where you are on this timeline, should you choose to accept. I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you would like a personal reading, you can find all of my contact details in the description below this video. And thank you for your donations, Taurus. Take care.